hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix performance issue with life is strange true colors game on your computer now the first step is to close the game so if the game is running go ahead and close the game and then restart steam so go to steam and then click on exit and after that restart the steam and while starting if it's getting any kind of update let the update complete and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game so that should go ahead and fix the problem but still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and try to launch the game with both dx11 and dx12 so you can try both the settings so go to steam select your game then click on play now if you are facing the problem when you try to play the game with dx12 enabled then you, you go ahead and select play in life strange true color this is dx11 and if you are facing problem if you are facing the problem with dx11 then in that case you can go ahead and select direct x12 and then click on play and check which one is working fine with you you can also make a right click on the game then go to properties now if you want to launch the game with dx11 you can go ahead and type in dash dx11 in launch option and then try to launch the game now if you always want to launch the game with dx12 then in that case type in dash dx12 and then this will launch the game in direct x12 settings so you can also make a changes in launch option and then try to launch the game and check which one is working fine with you now the next step is to verify the game files so for this again go to steam make a right click on the game select properties now go to local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and during the verification it might find corrupt file and it will go ahead and verify the game file that will go ahead and fix it and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver now this has worked for many users so it might work for you so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd go to amd website so i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and select the right operating system over here then click on search and then click on download now once the download is complete you have to go ahead and run the exe file then you will see the screen which says agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and after the installation restart your computer and then try to launch the game now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer came with dual graphic card make sure that the game is running on the dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the steam library folder then open the steam apps then open the common folder then open the life is strange 3 folder and then select the game exe file then click on add and then select once the game is added click on options select high performance then click on save do the same thing with with another exe file so click on browse once again now this time open the siren folder and then open the binaries folder then open win64 folder and over here you can see siren win64 sipping.exe file add it over here once this is added click on options high performance then click on save and then try to launch the game the next step is to run the game as an administrator so go to the game installation folder so go to steam make a right click on the games click on manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see the game exe file make a right click then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok and then try to launch the game also try to launch the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from here just go to browse local files once again and try to launch the game from game installation folder now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus such as avast not on mcafee bit defender whatever antivirus you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program in case if you're using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings go to update and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down here you can see ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection 
and then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and then again go to the game installation folder select the game exe file then click on open and again click on allow and add an allowed app then click on browse all apps this time go to siren folder open binaries then open win64 then select the shipping exe and then click on open and once the game is added over here you can go ahead and try to launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 now you have to go ahead and download both x86 and x64 version so click on both the exe file over here and once the download is complete run both the exe file so click on it click on repair or install whatever you see so in my case i see the repair option in your case it, you might see the install option so select repair or install run both the exe file click on repair or install then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete do not close this window and do not click on restart now let both the installation complete then you can go ahead and click on restart or you can simply close this then go to the start menu click on the power icon then click on restart and after the system restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game now the next step is to disable steam overlay so go to steam make a right click on the game and then select properties and over here under the general tab here you can see the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this and if this option is checked we say keep game saves in steam cloud uncheck this also and then try to launch the game also close other overlay applications so if you have any other overlay application running on the computer you can go ahead and close it so if you have discord running on the computer go ahead and close discord now if you have ge force experience running on the computer go ahead and close ge force experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so do not overclock now if you have overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer go ahead and close it now in case if you have a revert tuner running on the computer go ahead and close it so make sure that you close all the overclocking application then perform clean boot to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all in my case the disable all option is grayed out because i already did it in your case once you put a check over here then click on disable all then click on apply okay then you will see the restart option restart your computer and then try to launch the game also close all the background application while playing the game so make sure that only the steam and the game is running the rest you can go ahead and close all the application even browser and then check the performance the next option is to update windows 10 to the latest version so make sure that your windows 10 is up to date so go to the start menu then click on settings go to update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to try to launch the game in window mode for this go ahead and launch the game first now after you launch the game go to settings and then click on video now over here you can go ahead and select the window mode for display mode you can go ahead and select window mode or you can press alt plus enter key on the keyboard to go to window mode now you can go ahead and try to lower down screen resolution so you can go ahead and try 19020 into 1080p or you can go ahead and try to lower down the resolution and for graphics quality you can go ahead and select medium so if the graphics quality is set to very high you can go ahead and select high or medium or even low and you can set the frame rate to 30 fps and then go to edit advanced option and over here if everything is set to very high you can go ahead and select high or maybe medium or low and then apply the settings so click on apply once you apply go back and then again click on apply and then click on ok and then restart your game and that should go ahead and improve the performance now the next step is to reinstall the game on c drive now this has also worked for many users so in case if you have installed the game in d drive of or any other drive make sure that you reinstall the game on c drive so go to steam make a right click on the game click on manage then click on uninstall 
after the uninstall, restart your computer. And re after the restart, so first of all, you go ahead and uninstall the game. And then after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and click on install the download button. And then this time you select C drive. And then after the game is downloaded to the C drive, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to get the game working on your computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.